All right, so we got a question here in the chat. It says, serious question. When they talked about Tim, Tony, and Manu coming in to mentor Wimby, are they also helping out or helping the other new guys like Tony talking to Sohan on playing point guard? Well, in actuality, I do want to talk about that. So as far as Tim Duncan is concerned, and this is just from what I gather, okay? This is the outside looking in, everything that we've covered, everything that we've talked about. This, this, these are what I, this is what I think. So first and foremost, Tim Duncan. From what I've seen, it seems like Tim Duncan has been more of a mentor for the bigs that the Spurs have gotten. So maybe he's a mentor to Sohan, not 100% sure. We know he was a mentor to LaMarcus Aldridge, and there was plenty of footage of that. Um, I'm sure he's willing to give advice to any player on the team. People have said that, um, guard or not, have said, yeah, Tim Duncan has helped. Like Lonnie Walker talked about uh, getting information from Tim Duncan and learning from Timmy. So Timmy's willing to help anybody that wants it, but more than likely he's probably focusing or keying in on the bigs. That just seems like that's more so the case. So Tim Duncan, David Robinson, they're probably really a uh, direct line to, to Wimby if Wimby needs anything. Um, as far as Tony Parker is concerned, I think Tony Parker has, I mean, we obviously this interview in particular, uh, him talking to Sohan, but I think that at the very least, they have each other's number. <laughs> okay. Um, so I would be hard pressed not to believe that Tony Parker isn't helping out Jeremy Sohan. I, I, f I just have a vibe that that's definitely what's going on. Um, but obviously him being more of a mentor towards Wimby and probably Sohan and probably Trey Jones as well. Uh, so those, those are my thoughts there with Timmy and Tony. Now, Manu, I do find it very strange that you brought up Manu, my boy, because Manu would be mentoring the entire team because he works, he directly works for the San Antonio Spurs. Timmy and Tony, Tim and Tony don't, at least from what I, I mean, it, it, unless the chat has something different, I don't think those two work for the Spurs at all. Uh, but Manu Ginobili definitely works for the San Antonio Spurs and player personnel and everything. So he is helping everybody. Um, so I, I don't know... Yeah. So yeah, it's not just, you know, Wimby. So he is helping everyone. So the Spurs have a lot of different mentors. Okay. Now, with that being said, I am completely fine with some of the things that you guys have said, like early in the chat that like you would prefer if the Spurs went and just got themselves a, another mentor for the team, somebody that can help them on defense, be that voice in the locker room, because while we do have some really good voices uh, and some really good vets, Let's just be honest and saying like Doug McDermott, he's not, I mean, he he's, he's a good vet, but as far as defensive prowess and, and teaching guys and team defense, he's not a great defender by any means. Um, the guys that we have right now, I think can really help when it comes to chemistry offensively. Um, I mean, I've already said this before, but one of the best lineups that I saw the Spurs run was, hold on, let me try to get it. Let me. Let me try to get it right, okay? Malachi Branham. I'm pretty sure it was Malachi. Malachi Branham, um, uh, Doug McDermott, Osman, Zach Collins. Who was the fifth? Crap, who was the fifth? It wasn't It wasn't Trey Jones. Crap, who was the fifth? Do you guys remember? Um, it was a few games ago. Hold on. I might have tweeted it because I don't want to mess this up. Full of vets, though. Let's see. Here it is. Malachi, Osman, Doug, Mamu. That's what it was. Mamu and then Collins. Those guys play really well together. So I think Doug and Osman on the team as vets really do help when it comes to offensive, uh, um, you know, offensive chemistry and everything, cohesiveness. But as far as, like, defensively, yeah, we, we would definitely need some type of, you know, vet in the locker room that could help with that, I think, would be pretty nice. But, um, but yeah, sorry, I'm getting off the topic. Tim, Tony, Manu, I think all I think they're I think they're open to help anybody that needs it. But I think Timmy's probably more so focused on the bigs. He probably talks to Wimby the most. Tony, I think he's willing to talk to Wimby and Sohan. He's probably helping them the most. And then Manu, he helps everybody because I mean he literally works for the team. So um so there's that. So I just wanted to address that question. Good question, by the way. I do like that question. 